A bidet is a bowl or receptacle used to wash your private areas with water after using the toilet, rather than using toilet paper. From an environmental standpoint, bidets can reduce the need for toilet paper, making them much less stressful on the environment. Shortages of toilet paper due to the coronavirus pandemic has led to an increased interest in bidets. The word bidet was used in 15th century France to refer to the pet ponies that French royalty kept, stemming from the old French word bidet, which meant to trot. It came to be used as we know it today because you straddle the bidet, much the way a pony is ridden. The bidet was invented by French furniture makers in the late 1600s, although no exact date or inventor is known. Some of the early versions of the bidet look like ornamental ottomans. Lids made of wood, wicker or leather tended to top the seated portion to disguise its function. It was considered a second step to the chamber pot, and both items were kept in the bedroom or dressing chamber. Before plumbing was common in households, you would have had to fill and empty your bidet manually. Versions in the 1700s sometimes featured a water pump handle that could deliver an upward spray from a refillable tank. In the 1800s, as indoor plumbing became more prevalent, the bidet moved from the bedroom into the bathroom. The first plumbed bidets were most common in high society, but their popularity soon spread both to other social classes in France and to other countries in Western Europe, Latin America, the Middle East and Asia. In 1980, the first paperless toilet was launched in Japan. It was a combination of toilet and bidet, which also dried the user after washing. These combination toilet bidets are particularly popular in Japan and South Korea, and are found in approximately 76% of Japanese households as of 2015. The bidet remains virtually non-existent in cultures of British influence, such as the USA and Australia. This is because, when the use of the bidet was on the rise, the British associated bidets with contraception and therefore promiscuity. Doctors also recommended the use of the bidet to prevent sexually transmitted diseases, which meant that you would often find them in brothels. A standalone bidet is a plumbing fixture that is installed as a separate unit placed next to the toilet, which users may straddle or sit on as they would a toilet. Some have taps and a stopper so that they can be filled up like a sink. In this case, the user would then use their hands to manually clean themselves with the water. Other designs have a nozzle or jet that squirts a stream of water to aid in cleansing. The bidet shower, known to many as the bum gun, is a handheld hose and nozzle situated next to the toilet that delivers a spray of water on demand. While remaining over the toilet, the user manually aims the stream where needed, with all water and waste collecting in the toilet. Bidet showers are common in the Middle East, Southeast and East Asia, where water is considered essential for anal cleansing, usually for religious reasons. It is also used in countries that do not have plumbing that can cope with the disposal of toilet paper, such as Thailand. Drawbacks include the possibility of wetting a user's clothing if used carelessly. In addition, a user must be reasonably mobile and flexible. There are now bidets that can be attached to toilet bowls, saving space and preventing the need for additional plumbing. These bidet add-ons provide automatic washing, either mechanically by turning a valve or electronically. An add-on bidet typically connects to the existing water supply of a toilet and requires no other plumbing work. Electronic add-on bidets are of course waterproof and require connection to a grounded electrical outlet. There are some models of bidets that have heated seats, heated water, blow the user with warm air to dry them, have wireless remote controls, built-in night lights, built-in deodorizers, adjustable water pressure and directional spray control. <laughs>